I'm sure you'll have heard the phrase, life is like a mirror. And it's very apt for owners of XKRs, as their cars reflect their passion for grace, space and pace. Well, perhaps not so much for back seat space, but that's another story. This video details the secrets of the XKR's mirrors. External side mirrors, internal rear vision mirror, vanity mirrors and the hidden secrets on how to adjust them. Many are not aware that the rear vision mirror is auto dimming and it depends on the amount of ambient light when the ignition's turned on. There's a hole to let in the ambient light at the back of the mirror and you should see a green light on the sensor at the front of the mirror. Dimming doesn't take place when the reverse gear is selected. And while thinking about the rear vision mirror, make sure you keep the windscreen clear and clean behind the mirror as the rain sensors are located there as well as the hole for the ambient light sensor. Any restrictions will affect the wipers turning on automatically and the amount of ambient light that will affect dimming. The external mirrors are automatically dimmed using the sensor from the internal mirror. As well as having another automatic mode, they're heated based on the external temperature. And this will clear any ice from the mirror. And did you know that the passenger's mirror can be set to dip when reverse gear is selected? The setting can be selected in the touch screen under vehicle settings and select parking. When the setting is on, the amount of dip can be adjusted when the gear selector is in reverse and while the mirror is fully dipped by using the external mirror adjustments on the driver's door. And for those of you that are confused by the external mirror adjustments, there are two buttons that push down one for the left mirror and one for the right hand mirror and when either button is selected the joystick allows the four-way adjustment personally i keep my dip on reverse turned off because i find the automatic dip can be a pain if i'm trying to back the car into a tight parking spot the dip mirror doesn't let me clearly see the side of the car that i'm parking beside I keep my dip mirror turned off so that when I reverse I can see any cars or walls beside me. But I also want to be able to see the curb when I'm reverse parking in the street to keep from damaging the alloys. And this is how I've got mine set up. The auto dip on reverse is set off position in the touch screen. And then I use the driver's door memory adjustments to dip the mirror. And this is how to do it. Let's say your normal memory settings for the seat and the steering wheel are memorized on memory one button. Then you only make a dipped external mirror change and memorize that change with M and button two or three. All the current settings for your memory one are retained, including the dip mirror change. And those are memorized now in memory two. And when the car's in reverse, the mirror will stay undipped. And if you want to see the curb, press the memory button 2 and the mirror will dip. Press memory button 1 and the mirror will return to the undip position. But beware, if there is more than one setting for different drivers, then this feature won't be effective. Most owners know that mirrors can fold when the car is locked. And the setting to turn the fold feature on and off is to select the vehicle settings in the touch screen and select security but it's not commonly known that the mirrors can be folded while you're inside the car. Perhaps you're on a narrow street and while you're waiting for your passenger to return, you want to avoid passing cars clipping your external mirrors. Press both left and right buttons at the same time and then press them both again to unfold. For those that are not aware, the sun visors are fitted with a vanity mirror that's exposed when the hinge flap is opened and the light then automatically illuminates. And incidentally, there's also a clip that can be used as a parking ticket holder. I'm not sure all the features I've mentioned are known by every owner, but I hope you've enjoyed learning a bit more about your XKR. Thanks for watching.